Four. Raven two one. Flight of eleven is inbound. Requesting clearance to encircle. Raven two one. Four. Roger. Roger. Fleet CAC, Fleet CAC. Clear present position to interlock aerodrome will maintain a mandatory 500 foot minimum altitude above the aerodrome proper. All exercise participants must monitor air frequency at all times during the exercise and any use of ordnance live or air is prohibited, which includes flare and radar reflective devices. Over. Red, can you translate that? Just also Roger cleared. Thor, Raven 2 1, Roger. We're cleared free kick. Raven 2 1, wind complete before clear on this frequency. Thor, Raven 2 1, Wilco. Was that guy speaking English? The Queen's English, I'm afraid. Ravens, IP inbound. Free kick, free kick. Welcome back, fuckers. Alrighty, in today's video, we're going to continue on with the Raven 1 Dominant Fury campaign. So we've uh, completed two missions so far. And you can see there we have got a success rate of 90 and 100 for uh, mission 1 and mission 2. And we're about to take mission 3 on. So um, if you're just watching this campaign for the very first time, definitely recommend going back to the uh, the first mission and then watching the second mission and then on to the third mission that we're about to do now. Watch them in order so it'll make more sense to you. You kind of follow along with the, uh, the storyline. But anyways, let's uh, get cracking into this. So we're going to uh, we'll load up the mission. We'll run through the mission brief and yeah, we're going to try and uh, try and pull this thing off. I don't know what we got ourselves in for. Strike at Interlick is uh, sounding ominous. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. So let's uh, get in the jet or get in the mission anyway and uh, see what's coming our way. Rightio, here we are. So mission number three, strike at Insulic. Situation. So we're just going to read this out, guys. I haven't read this yet. So we'll read it together and then um, get amongst this. So a few days after Flip's return from his night bingo to Cyprus, Air Wing 4 is preparing for a large scale joint exercise with Turkish Air Force under the umbrella of NATO that Flip is tasked to lead. His first strike lead as a Raven department head. Currently, Valley Forge is 60 miles southeast from Mersin, preparing to launch an 11 aircraft package. All right, so we're flying with 11 aircraft. This is going to be fun. Good afternoon, Tomahawk, and welcome to the Event 2 briefing. I am Lieutenant JG Anita Roberts, and Valley Forge is currently not far off the shore of Cyprus, steaming east. Event 2 will take place during good weather conditions, scattered clouds at 10,000 feet and 8 miles viz, steady easterly winds of 15 knots. The outside temperature is 68 degrees Fahrenheit. A Case 1 launch is scheduled for 11.30 and a Case 1 recovery at 12.30. Expected launch posit is north 3551, east 3456. And expected recovery posit is north 3552, east 3515. The card of the day with frequencies and code words has already been distributed. For Event 2, we will launch 11 aircraft, 4 Ravens with tactical call signs Raven 21 to Raven 24, 2 Spartans and 2 Moonshadows flying in pairs, 1 Spartan and 1 Moonshadow as Spartan 44 and 45 respectively, and another pair as Spartan 46 and 47. 1 EA 6B and 2 Buccaneers flying together as Rickshaw 63, Rickshaw 64 and Rickshaw 65. We will also launch one Red Eye Texaco after main package departs. Your task today is to train with the Turkish Air Force under control of a NATO AWACS, call sign Thor. The Turks will play the aggressors and your simulated target will be Insulik Air Base. The divert field is Akrotiri in Cyprus, restricted zones, sovereign airspace of all the countries in East Med, including Syria. You will be flying pretty close to the border, so be extra careful. Rules of engagement are as follows. Do not enter airspace of any country without specific agreement. Steer clear of airspace and territorial waters of any country except Turkey. This is all from my side and have a pleasant flight. There we go. That's our mission brief. So objective, striking brief. All right, here we go. Good morning, CAG. Good morning, CAG, and welcome to the event to strike brief. Today we are going to insulate Turkey on a timed low-level ingress to a hard target on simulated 
DMPIs at Intelik, opposed by Turkish Air Force interceptors and controlled by airborne NATO AWACS controllers. Launches at 11.30, recovery scheduled for 12.30, and the weather is awesome. After starts, I'll get a roll call on StrikeCom, on Strike Common, on Strike Common. Yeah, that's a typo there. It's a good, it's all good. We rendezvous here at Waypoint 1, southwest of Samandagay. Degay. Feet wet, Spartan and Moonshadow mixed division sweepers at 10. Raven simulator strikers at 11. And the suppression element of Bucks and Rickshaws at Angels 12. Everyone be up on strike common during the rendezvous. Our local time on target is 12 11 30. And backing that up, we'll push out of the rendezvous point at 11 50. The code for that will be COMEX. One minute earlier for you, Spartans, set up information by waypoint two and fly the route at 360 ground speed. The sweep mix division of Spartans and Moon Shadows in front, then the Ravens, followed by the Bucks and Rickshaw suppression division. At waypoint three, which will be in the middle of the lake, five miles to the southeast. We'll turn left and climb to clear the mountains, then get back to 800 feet AGL on the other side and at waypoint 4, turn towards our target and continue 800 feet AGL at 400 knots. At the initial point northeast of Insulik, is, it's a hard left turn to the target and our assigned aim points. At 3 miles from the target, the Raven Division will perform a section low angle pops on individual DMPIs, jink off target and back together for the egress to the med here at waypoint 7. Then to the get well point at Phoenix here, waypoint 8. We are not armed, but our constructive loadout for the Raven Strikers is cluster munitions and self-escort missiles. With the Spartans carrying a fighter sweep load of radar and IR missiles, and the Bucks with harm and a self-escort loadout, and the Rickshaw carrying harms. We can expect opposition from Turkish F-4 and F-16 interceptors anywhere along the route. The NATO AWACS call sign Thor will provide calls from Rock, which today is the target, Insulik. Sweepers, if they're on your nose, shoot them and continue. If leakers get through or we find ourselves in the visual arena, turn to engage, maximum 90 degrees of turn, rock your wings and resume. After waypoint 4, when turning towards Insulik, I'll call Thor for clearance into the target, which is working, which is a working Air Force base. The code word to continue is free kick and to stay clear is own goal. Spartan Division, you guys stay five miles off the field and flow south and out on the egress route as you sweep ahead of us. Rickshaws, you guys also stay five miles out, ramp up and take simulated shots as we're in the target area. No ordnance, including no chaff and flares, but with sim boxed, we can still exercise all the proper switchology. So double and triple check and then mash the buttons accordingly. We all have our HUD cameras. If no pictures, then it didn't happen. Once we're done, detach into individual squadron formations for a standard check-in with Strike and RTB. There's a red-eye tanker airborne, and I've asked him to hang out north of the ship if anyone is desperate for fuel. Questions? CAG, anything to add? Okay, let's break up into element briefs. See you out there. <laughs> Jesus. This is, uh, this is getting out of hand. There's so much information. All right, our elemental brief. Because I'm guessing this is flip. This is our brief here. Attention to brief. I'm in 405. Betsy, you've got 403. Red, you're in 410. And CAG, you've got 400. We are loaded with three tanks, captive carry sidewinders, and a T flare for a 37k shot. And max trap fuel is going to be around 5.5. Our constructive load is Mark 20 rock eyes on stations 2 and 8. Weather is no factor for us today. Standard startup on deck. We'll get a Raven 21 check. Raven 2-1 check on TAC, Tomahawk check on Strike Common, then launch on Tower Frequency for a standard case 1 departure. Hate is the brief divert and currently bears 120 miles to the southwest. Plan for a rough 140 mile bingo if there's no tanker when we get to tank state. Once we push out, let's get in division spread with Betsy flying TAC wing on me and CAG on red. Don't forget to select SIM. I'll call Thor for clearance on the route and we'll descend to be at the second waypoint, a place where several roads intersect each other, one of them leading northwest through the mountains at 360 knots, no lower than 200 feet AGL, heading towards waypoint 3. Remember to perform your low-level checklist prior to descending through 5,000 AGL. Wingmen, stay stepped up on your leads, call out any power lines and birds you encounter, and all of us have our radars looking up and concentrate on your own sides of the formation. Lookout doctrine 
is important. These Turkish pilots are wild men and they could surprise you from below. If threatened, turn to engage and call out. After you break into him 90 degrees to acknowledge, resume on the route. 500 foot safety bubble and stay out of the rocks. We're going to continue alongside the mountain. This mountain range to the turn at waypoint 3, then climb to 3,500 feet MSL. After we clear the tops, we'll get back low and turn left for a 40 mile final leg to the target and we'll accelerate to 400 knots ground. Stay stepped up and keep your head on a swivel for birds. Now, if we aren't already, let's maneuver. So I'm on the left seaward with Betsy approaching the target. I'll offset to intercept a three mile arc to the north. So inbound, I'm on the left and you and Red Kite on the right. Betsy inside 10 miles, cross to my right and CAG, you'll remain on the outside of Red Kite. When I hit the arc, I'll call Poppin and pull to 30 degrees nose up and Betsy, you will follow me up. Red Kite, when you hit the three mile arc, do likewise. At 1500 feet over bank, left and put your nose on the aim point for a simulated 15 degree delivery out by 500 feet. I've got the near northeast aim point and we'll go down the line two, three, four. Record your flares, set switches to HUD and auto after passing the IP. Off target gene can resume south in spread to waypoint seven, no lower than 200 feet at 420 plus, but don't blow through the number. Once we coast out and get to the waypoint Eight, I'll call Phoenix and start a climb towards home. Standard admin through strike, marshal and tower. We'll enter a low holding at Angels 3 and when it's our turn, we'll descend to the initial and enter the break in a standard right echelon. Look sharp and fly solid pass. Questions? CAG, anything to add? Okay, I'll see you out there. All right, holy shit. That's a lot of, a lot of things that we need to uh, pull off on this one. This is going to be tough. All right, design notes. Number one, wait for the taxi director signal and go to the catapult he orders you to take. Number two, wait. Other members of your flight will go directly to waypoint one and join formation after COMEX command is given when you push. Okay. Remember to watch your speed and keep proper formation. Spartans ahead, rickshaw behind you. When ready, perform the 30-30 pop-up attack. 30 degree left bank and 30 degree climb. When you pass 3,000 feet, over bank right onto your... I'm Okay, we've got uh, conflicting information, overbank right onto your target. I'm guessing that's supposed to be overbank left if we're, if we're going a 30 degree bank and 30 degree climb. Overbank right onto your target. Oh man, I'm confused, I'm confused. Synopsis, this is a simulated air wing power projection strike exercise with simulated airborne opposition by a NATO member nation under AWOT's control. Solid comm and switchology, timing on the low level route and tactical formations. Flip must fly over his simulated DMPI within 10 seconds of time on target. Greater than 20 seconds is a debrief item. CAG is flying with the Ravens to assess Lieutenant Commander Wilson's ability to earn his air wing strike lead qual. No, no pressure. Okay, so we, yeah, right. All right, let's have a look at these pictures here. So here we are. We're going to be cruising over to waypoint one. That's our rendezvous at 11,000 feet. And we're going to push at 1150 local time. And from waypoint one, we're going to fly to waypoint two. Uh, heading down towards 360 feet AGL. All right, so we're transitioning from 11,000 down to 360 feet by waypoint two. Head to waypoint three. We're still at... Uh, 360 ground. I'm going to go over the top of the mountains. Waypoint 4 is the IP. Back down to the deck. And then waypoint 5 is our pop up. Waypoint 6 is our DMPI. It's designated. I don't know what DMPI stands for. All right, here we go. So, north. So, it said we're taking the northeast. Do you believe? Uh, here we go. Um, I've got the near northeast aim point, and we'll go down the line two, three, four. The so north here, east is over this way. So we got this one here, number four. So this, these numbers are back to front, according to our brief. It's supposed to be one, two, three, four. I guess 
but uh, number one is on the northwest side, not the northeast side, according to our little picture here. So we're going to be hitting number four, which is a fuel tank. Let me actually, yeah, a tank, fuel tank in between the two aprons. That's our target. We'll just go off of that. Okay. Um, and there is our. Our knee boards. Um, right, right, right. Whew. All right. So let's just quickly have a look. Because there's a lot of stuff that's about to happen here. So we're just going to take this a little bit slower. So once we launch, we're going to head to waypoint number one. That's our, uh, our format point. Uh, Run over here at waypoint one, southwest of. Go waypoint one. We're at rendezvousing at waypoint one. Angels eleven is our assigned altitude, and local time on target is twelve eleven thirty, and our rendezvous time is eleven fifty. All right. Okay, so this is going to happen pretty quick. Well, here we go, guys. If we fuck it up, you guys are going to see it live. See it in the jet. All righty, here we go, guys. Let's jump in. So I'm guessing we just start up here. Crank in the right. Okay, let's bring up our knee boards. Um, do we have a Joker 5000? Tanking by 3000. Make sure that rate is run and use spacebar F10 radio. Flight controls. Flight controls. Okay, so we're on two five five and auxiliary three zero three. got a mismatch here. I'm going to change it to 302. Uh, zero, zero. Enter. Okay, flight 302.50. And strike on 251, 255.10. Space bar F10 menu for check in with ravens. Come on. Right, we're just going to leave the radio as is. We're not going to change the comms because I don't think that worked. So I just restarted the mission there. Um, 
So there's a, uh, there's a mismatch from the actual kneeboard and the actual frequency on the radio. So we're going to check again. So we should have got told, or we should have got a, a comms check over radio on our um, auxiliary radio, and it didn't do anything because we changed the comms. change the flight auxiliary um, in the actual aircraft it's 303.2 on the actual knee board it's 302.5 so let's um let's do it without changing it now let's see if we actually get a, a call so we're just going to press spacebar here we'll go through f10 ravens check raven two one there's an issue with the radios. Raven 2-2. Two two. Raven 2-3. Two Raven 2-4. That's left started. INS alignment, still at heading. Dark on ILS on. Dark on. on. ILS on. Uh, ILS is channel 6. Enter. Tekken on. 112 X ray. IFF on. Make sure you're on correct frequency and, and when ready, perform radio check with the package via F10 radio pressing spacebar. Tomahawk, check Raven 2 1. Raven 2 2. Raven 2 3. Raven 2 4. Raven 2 4. Spartan 4 4. Spartan 4 5. Spartan 4 6. Rickshaw 6-3. Rickshaw 6-4. Rickshaw 6-5. Rickshaw 6-5. Okay. Alright, so now we need to get all of our waypoint information uh, da, 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 da. waypoint number six is our um, it's rock bullseye so we're going to punch that in okay one two three four five six data air to air let's piss that off Turn this down, turn that down. All right. There's our Tomcats doing their thing. So waypoint one, and what was that other stuff we wanted? going to quickly get our time on target. Local time on target is 12, 11, 30. All right, so we are going to, we'll wait for all this. Um, we're going to go to UFC sequence. There we go. 
So our target is... Number six. Target is number six. Time on target will be... So what's the time now? It is... It's local. There's Zulu there. Local time is 8.32. So we want 9... 0 9 11.30 Time 0 9 1 1 0 Okay Alright, so what I did there My uh, local time is 11.32 Zulu time is 0 8.32 So we want to be hitting the target at 12.11 I do believe it was 12.11.30 Alright, 12.11.30 which would make, so if it's a, be 12.11.30 it'd make this 9.11.30 Alright, so we've punched in our time on target and now it's going to give us this little uh, indicator here this little carrot so all we need to do is make sure that we keep this carrot on that line, so that's our desired airspeed and it's also going to tell us in our uh, HSI there, the required ground speed we need to do to hit the target area at our time we just punched in. So 0, 09, 11, 30. If we fly a ground speed of 275 ground all the way through our waypoints, we're going to uh, hit our target. On time, on target. Configuring our aircraft, FCS, do, stores, we are going to select sim, archives mode, CCRP, Mfuse, VT. launching to start taxing to cat three Roger that. Time now. You know, let me. You know, disappear. There we go. All right. So let's get wheel chocks removed. Remove the wheel chocks. Brakes off. Copy. Wheel chocks are now removed. Cat three which is where he is right there. Three. It's got 39 mile. We're going to push at 1150 local. That's when we're going to push and start our flight in. So as soon as we push, we want to descend down. Start our descent down to uh, our 800 feet or whatever it was. down, locked. Mm 
brakes on. Let's bow down. So I guess, um, just check one last thing in the, uh, the notes. Uh, other members you fly, wait for taxi direct signal and go to the catapult he orders. All right, it doesn't say anything about having to wait. All right, let's run her up. Engines are green. Light control wipeout. Let's turn our lights on. Salute. And send it. knots to start. We're just going to get five mile out from the aircraft carrier. And we'll start our turn in. Alright, so once we get five mile out, we're going to climb up. And head over to waypoint one. And we're going to push at 1150, so we're going to climb to 11,000 feet. And um, just wait for our push time. Let's get our on our HUD. We want local time. It's at twelve eleven thirty. This is when we want to be flying over our target. Thor's frequency. Roger, Raven 405. Radar contact. Clear switch. Raven 405. Mm. Alright. Thor is come to you. Alright, 
All right, let's just slow down now. We got plenty of time here. Six five mate. Let's go full fuel conserve. So we're cruising at eleven thousand. Uh, let's just quickly get QFE two nine nine seven. In we go. Everyone's marshalling out. I see you all in the data link there. That's why it's important to stick to your altitudes. You can see there's hornets all cruising around. Let's slow down a little bit more. We'll go 350 indicated. Other than that, let's set up our radar to how I like it. Make sure you're on correct frequency and use F10 menu to check in with Thor. Alright, we are definitely on the correct frequency. One, F10. Thor, Raven 2 1 flight checking in as frag. Raven 2 1, Thor, FU 5 by 5, follow me. Raven 2 1 has the Lima Charlie standing by Alpha Check. Raven 2 1, Alpha Check from Rock 16860. Roger, request coordinate entry, low level route. Roger, stand by. Alright, it's just waiting now. We're going to push at 1150. Our push time. Damn it, lost our, um, our time on target. It's alright, we can do it again. Uh, data sequence. Make sure you're on correct frequency and use F10 radio menu to request clearance from door. Do not push until assigned time. Let's check our, uh, get clearance, red out, set our red out, which we will set now to, we want a safety bubble of 500 feet, which we don't want to go, we'll set it to 600, we don't want to go below 500. Uh, our altimeter is set, mask secure, visor down, RN HUD, 
this one there. Alright, so let's go. Data sequence. Target is 6. Enter. Time on target was 0. 9. 1. 1. 30. Enter. better up. No, we fucked that up. Target is waypoint six. Enter. There we go, that's better. Eleven forty seven. Almost ready to start pushing. Alright, we're almost there. One minute till push time. Get your hammocks on. Tomahawk. Comex. Comex. It's a bit early, mate. We don't push till 11.50. Seconds. This guy's coming right at us. All right, let's start pushing. Magpies they are. All right, let's start our descent. So we're gonna slow down here. We're at 360 ground. Eleven fifty, pushing to waypoint two at three sixty ground. now.
They're all the way over there. Guess we're going to catch up to them, eh? Altitude. I'm going to be in between those two. Flounder and boys, stay with me. Come on, left. Get in front of these guys just above us. Four, group, rock 112, 36. Low, trek, southeast, bandit. Slowing down our airspeed now. Spartan 4-6, tally one on my left, 11, 8 miles high, engaging. Alright, we'll get our wings at him. Spartan 4-6, skip it, resume. Let's cruise along here. We good? Talking about? Talk to me about speed, mate. We're bang on pace here. Oh, she's a bit turbulent.
23 mile. Eleven fifty seven. Rickshaw six four heads up tally two mile left nine high. Rickshaw six four clear to engage. Come up, bro. Rickshaw six four turning to engage. So we're going to be flying right over the top of the target at eleven. 12, 11, and 30 seconds. Within 10 seconds of that, dropping our bomb. Rickshaw 64, skip it, resume. And we've got one on the nose here. Speed back up here, went 360 ground. Four, group, rock 052, 27, track east, bandit, full monitor. So at 10 minutes still target. Still on pace here. Turkish Air Force flying across us there. Four, Raven 2 1, flight of 11 is inbound. Requesting clearance to encircling. Raven 2 1, Thor, Roger, Roger. Fleet tech, fleet tech. Clear present position to enter the aerodrome will maintain a mandatory 500 foot minimum altitude above the aerodrome proper. All exercise participants must monitor guard frequency at all times during the exercise. Any use of ordnance live or in air is prohibited. Red, can you translate that? <laughs> Just also Roger cleared. Thor, Raven 2 1, Roger, we're cleared free kick. Free kick, boys, here we go. Raven 2 1, wind complete before clearing this frequency. Thor, Raven 2 1, we'll go. That guy speaking English. <laughs> the Queen's English, I'm afraid. Ravens, IP inbound. Free kick, free kick. Right, we're on our way. All right, let's uh, get ourselves ready to go. I'll try them on. Sigh up on here. Uh, 
quantity two. Interval, let's go 80 feet. Fence in. Lights are off. Mass run is on. Air to ground mass mode selected. We've got rock eyes in sim mode. Ready Altitude. to go. Altitude. Pushing in to waypoint number four. We're going to turn in. Begin our attack. And let's just bring up. So we're going for that guy there. Rickshaw, contact Hawk, engaging. Wait, right, boys, take that Sam out. All right, let's bring it down now. Rickshaw, Magnum, Hawk. Slow down here. All right, coming around on to our pop up. Waypoint 5 is pop up, waypoint 6 is our attack point. Slow down a bit more. This is killing me to go so slow. Five minutes until we hit our waypoint. So I'm just trying to get this up to uh, 370 ground, or 400 ground required, so then we can cruise in at the proper speed we're supposed to. So by slowing down, this is going to increase our required speed to get to the target. Waiting to run for Group Rock 03217, Track East, Bandit. Full monitor. Raven two two birds twelve o'clock low. Birds twelve o'clock low. Almost there. Let's bump up our speed now. So as soon as it flicks over to waypoint six, that is our target. Again, we are taking that guy there on the threshold in between the two uh, tarmacs on the northeast side of Insulik after a fuel bowser.
12.07. We hit this on time. Yes, 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 yes. Alright, so we're going to hit pop-up attack, drop our bombs, and we're going to keep heading out to waypoint 7, which is over here. Out to the uh, southwest. I'm going to be above 420 knots. 14 mile to waypoint 5, 12.08. We are bang on speed here to make our time over target. Just gonna get this to position to GPS. It's not that we're gonna be dropping a bomb, but is a workaround right now. Twelve oh nine. We're on track here. Should see the airfield very soon. Right there it is there. Where the hell's my thing? Oh, it's in fucking auto. Fuck. Jink. Let's hit the deck. God damn it. Raven 2-1 is off. Raven 2-3 is off. No joy. Door. Raven 2-1 flight is clear to the south. Let's see if it'll give us that. Well, 
I think we hit our time on target, but um, we were in auto mode because I hit waypoint. So what I did there, guys, I hit waypoint designate just to mark the spot on the ground. As soon as you put waypoint designate, we press that. It doesn't matter if you've set your uh, bomb to CCIP for mode or not. As soon as you hit waypoint designate, it changes it to auto automatically. So I had to change it back to CCIP and I got flustered, but hopefully it still gives it to us because we were over the top of the target. Hitting that bomb, we didn't go below 500 feet. So, fingers crossed. We get it. Alright. Uh, and. Waypoint 7, waypoint 8. We climb. See the other guy. Where's our third uh, wingman? Two. Hmm. There he is. There he's behind us. Catching up. So we're about to hit our waypoint. There he is. He's coming up. Catch him back up to us. Once you hit waypoint eight, we're going to climb. Good for fuel. Ninety nine, Tomahawk. Knock it off. Knock it off. Soar. Raven two one in flight. Phoenix. Phoenix. Alright, we're gonna climb up. Weak shot, knock it off. Lights back on. Weapon 2 1 flight, Roger Phoenix. You're operating due to guard and international airspace. Clear to switch pilots to switch. Roger, Thor. Raven switching. Thanks for the work today. Nice job. Please pass corner kick to USS ship. You're welcome, Raven 2 All right. Tomahawk, Raven 2 1, switch marshal. Switch marshal. Come three. Switch and marshal, and I guess we just check in. Marshal, 405. Mark your mops, 009, 430. Angels 5, state 8.9. 405, mother's weather is visibility 10 plus mile. Scattered clouds at 9,000, altimeter is 2908. Case 1 recovery expected BRC 86. Report see me at 10. BRC yeah, was 36. 405. Alright, just got to read real quick our, um, when we're coming back. Once we get out to waypoint now, call Phoenix, start a climb toward home, stand admin through strike, Marshall and tower. We'll enter a low holding at Angels 3. Alright, so Angels 3. And then just wait our turn.
Turn the radio minimum for Marshall, which we did. Bump it up to 350. Cruise on in, we are 24 mile. Let's um, start descending down. We get down to 3,000. The fleet is over. Yeah, that's a carrier. It's going to be at 3,000 feet. Doing 250 knots as we enter the pattern. Outside of, uh, when we get to 10 nautical mile from the boat, we want to be at our altitude, assigned altitude, which is 3,000. 250. Altitude. Altitude. Slow our descent down. Slow down a touch. Let's put our hook down. Lights are on. Carrier to bypass. Landing lights are on. Any skid is off to land on the boat. We're looking for 250 knots. Look at this go. Look in the goods. Alright, so we're just going to fly our pattern and wait till we get the signals Charlie and then we'll come down and land.
that at 10. Six. We can fucking understand him. All right, so we're just going to wait our turn for all these guys to land. When entering land pattern, press spacebar to kiss off your flight. Okay. Mother, I went up to your flight. One zero two, switch down. Mark one zero two. All right, start our turn here. Our aircraft carrier. There we go. Look at this. Is that Tomcat? We haven't been cleared to land yet. complete. Some cats doing. So our turn again, another 30 degree bank. Alright, we'll do one more lap around. 
Let's turn that off. One more lap around in our pattern. If we don't hear anything after that, we'll uh, just go ahead and land. Like how close that guy's getting to us. On this one we're going to go and land. So as we come around at our assigned altitude at 3000, we're going to start our descent down to uh, our landing. It's 800 feet, 350 knots. So we will go ahead and land. Into the left hand turn again. Still good for fuel, 7.3. Radio is set, hooks down, lights are on, anti skid is off. Alright, so as we get on the downwind, which will be 2.66, I believe. Six, six. We will uh, start our descent down to 800 feet, 350 knots. And as we come in over the top of the boat, I'm going to press space bar to kiss off our flight. And we'll just do a case one recovery. Alright, so here we go, coming in. I'm going to level out here. 266. Start our descent down. And our speed up, we want 350 knots. We are commencing.
start our turn. with me guys tighten up a little bit more Eight hundred feet, three fifty knots. So we're not right on. I just want to get a little bit close to the boat. I'm gonna just come left, just a little touch more, and then we'll uh, straighten up on BRC zero eight six. Down a touch, we're a little bit high, and then come right up to bearing. We go 800 feet 350 knots and as we go over the top of the boat we're gonna uh, kiss off or when we go into the break I should say Deck is clear. Alright, so we're going to go in the break at 0.7. Wow, well, there we go. Kiss off. We have 250 knots. Gear down, laps down. Trimming to on speed. Rolling out. Start our turn. Uncage the HUD. Ugh, what was that up? We are low. There we go. Four zero five. Hornetball. Six point five.
to our mission complete. Results 80. I don't know what we missed. All right. Mission three completed 80 for our score. I'm just going to bring up the, let's have a look at the scores here. The scoring, see what we stuffed up. There we go. Mission three on target within the given TOT. 20. Pop-up maneuver recorded, tapes on beforehand, 20. Landing on the carrier, 10. So we got 10 there. And we scored 20 on one of them. Pop-up maneuver recorded, tapes on beforehand. There was no thing to put the tapes on. Was there? Hmm. Oh, we still passed though. Happy days. Close all tabs. Close. All right, guys. Well, that's it. That'll do us. We uh, we managed to get it done. We had a bit of a, a booby there, but you guys saw the uh, saw me live, and I kind of explained what I did wrong there. Picked it up after the fact. Um, that's what happens when you get a bit target fixated on stuff and you're not paying attention. Um, it screws up your uh, your run-ins, and you get flustered, and then you got to try and last minute fix things. And yeah, that's probably what we screwed up was the dropping a bomb on uh because we're in auto mode still and it didn't press we didn't press pickle so maybe that's because it didn't because we didn't press pickle it didn't count as a uh as a drop potentially maybe that's what we fucked up anyways guys hope you did enjoy it if you did make sure you like the video and if you got any questions queries or comments throw them in the uh the description below in the comments let me know if you guys got 100 or if you um did better or worse than me i want to know kind of how you guys went as well and lastly but not least if you haven't subscribed to the channel and you enjoy the content and you'd like to show your support um, always appreciate if you hit the big old red subscribe button and if you want to get notified when a new video drops from myself make sure you go ahead and click on the bell and select all notifications and then that way you'll get notified when a video comes out from myself because uh, youtube does not give you a heads up as soon as a video comes out from your favorite YouTube content creators, unless you do that. So if you didn't know that, now you do. So thanks heaps, guys. Thanks to everyone that has subscribed uh, before this video has come out. And if you've just hit the subscribe button, thank you very much, mate. You're a champion and I appreciate all of you. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed it and I'll catch you all on the next one. See you later.